we're going to look at some things that we covered uh, way back in the first lesson and the second and third on making chords using the second string, the third string, and the fourth string, omitting the first and the fifth and sixth, playing across like that. Um, we can also make a, a form like this and we can make a form like this. You can go back to those lessons and look at them. But I want to um, look at this little graph of, of what we've done uh, and just comment on it. If we're playing this straight across set of three notes, then the chord, the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, the Do, Mi, So, is one here, three here, and five here. So do, re, mi, fa, so, da, da, da. Those, those will be the sounds we will expect to get playing straight across. If we play a major chord up this way, we will actually get the first sound, the do, here, the mi here, and the so here. So it would be a straight do, da, 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 do, mi, so. Okay. If we play this configuration, we would get the first sound, the, the, the do on the second string, and the mi on the third string, and the so on the fifth string. So it's da, 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 da. Da, da. Keep that in mind as we uh, uh, look at um, what we're doing in the next few minutes because it's going to become, I think, a very powerful way to move around the fretboard and learn the, um, the uh, various chords that we'd like to produce. Uh, but, but before we get um, too technical, let's, let's just look at these again. I'm going to pick, uh, say, th this spot here, go straight across, and form the chord. This is the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. And this is another form of a chord, not the same chord. This is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. So here you, the Do is on the second string. Now let's go straight across. I mean straight up. And here we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Now what you've got there are three different ways of making the major chord. This way, this way, this way. Now we want to learn what chords are we making each time. Before we do that though, I just want to encourage you um, that we're not really doing something very simple because if you take those three this way, we can add to them the outside strings. And uh, we can go down here. If we do this one, we can add this, and we can add. So we have the full chord available. We're just practicing the inside three strings to help us get a, a fix on the chords. Same thing with this. Okay. All right, now we should be ready to look at the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths. What we mean by the circle of fifths is that if we take the fifth note, this is one, two, three, four, five. So think about that five. If this is a C chord, then the fifth note is G. 
if we use that G now as the one, we go straight across, we have the G chord. And the fifth note of the G chord is a D. So if we take the fifth note and build the chord this way, we've moved to from the C to the G to the D. Now we're going to look at how we can extend that uh, all the way through the circle of fifths. And then when we get finished with that, hopefully we'll do a lesson on the circle of fourths.